Good afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. The Silver Fire in the Gila National Forest has now grown to more than 21,000 acres, but the evacuated town of Kingston remains safe. Firefighters have not only been successful in preventing the loss of any homes there, but they are making more headway in slowing the fire. Pilot reporter Bob Martin is over the fire in Sky News 13 and has the latest. Uh, this view of the Silver Fire is far more encouraging what we've been seeing until now. This is just east of Hillsborough Peak and kind of looking to the south as we pan the camera. No major flare-ups moving across uh, any part of the Black Range at this time uh, during the middle of the day. In fact, over the past 24 hours, the daily growth rate of the fire slowed to about 10%. Now, that's way down from what we've been seeing this week. Still, it's more than 2,000 acres over the past 24 hours, but certainly more encouraging. This afternoon, uh, this low burning fire is all we're seeing at the moment. Now that could change, obviously, with a little wind, or if the fire hits some extra dry brush that, that climbs up into the trees. But right now, very encouraging. Uh, from this point around Hillsborough Peak, uh, you can see, uh, again, the character of the fire, very, very low. In a moment, I move on over to uh, Emory Pass. Here we go. It's a very popular scenic drive in New Mexico. You can see there, yes, there's been some fire damage along the slopes here, but a lot of trees are still standing. So that's encouraging for folks who like to uh, drive up through Emory Pass and also for the watershed. Firefighters still doing what they can out here, cutting fire breaks where they can, but this is really very, very rugged country. It's been a severe safety hazard for firefighters to get out here on the ground. Here you can see some of the rugged terrain and also some of the damage that we're looking at again from the north out across the members mountains toward the south. So that's the picture this afternoon in Sky News 13. Bob Martin near Kingston.